Welcome back to Escape the Backrooms, a horror game filled with deadly monsters who are hunting you down. Which is actually a really big problem because the Backrooms has friendly entities too, and every single entity in my game has been not so friendly. So I'm gonna add brand new entities that'll actually be your friend, as well as even more levels and features starting with Party Poopers, which are entities that appear to be wearing a black jacket and jeans, a hood and black sneakers. Their faces are covered with a blue mask with a sad face on them. The true appearance of a party pooper is unknown because they refuse to take their jacket or hood off. So I got this awesome concept art of a party pooper on Discord and then modeled it out, but it just ended up looking like a drill wrapper or something, so I'm not really sure where I went wrong. Now unfortunately, party poopers are thought to be extinct because of something called the fun war, which is when they got into some beef with their ops and ended up in an entire war with them. And the problem was that there were only a couple dozen party poopers going against a couple hundred party goers, so you can probably guess who ended up winning the war. But luckily, a few of them managed to escape from the war, and unlike most entities that want to attack you on sight, Party poopers will help guide you to the exit away from dangerous entities, so if you do run into any in-game, be sure to follow them if you want to survive, because if you don't, then you might just end up running right into a room full of party goers. Now party poopers are located in level fun along with party goers, but the problem is that right now, level fun is one of the smallest levels in the entire game and barely has enough room for the party goers alone. So I'm gonna add a brand new level called level fun, plus which is a class dead zone level and is an even deeper and rarer sub-level that consists of inflatable play areas, slides, trampolines, ball pits, and areas that are much more open and free. So I blocked out a much larger area and then added different colored walls and carpets and then made the level absolutely massive with multiple sections like this mini golf area, a bowling alley, a playground, an inflatable park, and so many more areas that you can explore along with adding a few entities throughout them. So the next entity I'm going to add are Bone Thieves, which are massive potato-shaped beings with bumpy, sickly yellow skin that is practically impervious to all man-made forms of weaponry, aside from nuclear weapons. So I got this amazing Bone Thief model from Brian on Discord and threw it into one of the level 0 sub-levels, and judging by this entity's harmless appearance, it seems to be an extremely friendly entity and will help out human explorers and guide you towards the exit if you're lost. <laughs> or not. So for some reason, I thought that Bone Thieves were cuddly and friendly monsters, but it turns out that they're stationary predators that mimic human voices to draw prey near them to make them boneless by extending its neck and slurping up humans. Okay, so imagine this is you and this is a Bone Thief. It'll take its neck and extend it like this and then try to imitate a person. My name is Jeff. And then slurp out only your bones, right? Okay, so then it eats just those bones and leaves everything else just flopping there. Now, I don't really know how that works, but I wouldn't recommend going near it and make sure to stay with your team so you don't fall for their voice mimicking and somehow accidentally mistake this thing for one of your teammates, which I'm not sure how it's actually possible unless you're legally blind. So before I add the next feature, which is probably the most important feature in the entire backrooms, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe, or you'll no clip into the backrooms. <laughs> And if you guys like these videos, be sure to follow me on Twitter and TikTok since I definitely want to start posting some more smaller content and sneak peeks on there. So the most important feature in the entire backrooms is no clipping. And the only no clipping currently in the game is a cutscene to get to the next level, but I feel like since no clipping is the entire premise of the backrooms, I decided to make it an actual mechanic and added these no clipping floors in some of the levels that you can fall through in order to get to another level or avoid danger from entities. And I've also spent a bit of time fixing all the bugs that I never had an opportunity to fix, such as item dupes, and my personal favorite, this bug where you can literally fly across the map. <laughs> now, I have no clue how a bug like this even gets into the game in the first place, and I know a lot of you guys do enjoy harmless glitches like this, but since I want to leave early access eventually, I have to patch all the bugs. And unfortunately, one of those bugs that people have been abusing since the game very first came out is bee hopping. Where unlike in real life where if you run and jump at the same time, you'll get tired a lot faster than running normally, in my game, you can just sprint and jump at the same time and be able to get through the entire game without ever slowing down. So I made this patch for it that'll stop it from working and... 
Oh, uh, I... Looks like the patch didn't work. Uh, I guess b-hopping is staying in the game. So the next level I'm gonna add is a custom level called level 55.1, which is a massive room that seems to infinitely stretch in all directions with a tunnel in it that leads to various sub-levels. So I blocked out this massive room and then added a tunnel in the middle and added textures, adjusted the lighting, and then added an elevator that you can use to lower yourself down to the different sub-levels. Now the catch is that the lever to control the elevator is all the way at the top, so you'll need to use teamwork to lower each other down, and if you do happen to get spotted by an entity in one of the sub-levels, you'll need to quickly tell your teammates to raise you back up before it catches you. Now when it comes to strategy, you can either choose to go one at a time, or you can choose to have all of your teammates go down at the same time and have one player stay above controlling the elevator. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine, when you're not really fine, but you just keep- The most important part is to make sure you have a teammate that you can trust up on the surface using the elevator. Hey, can you raise me back up? I see an entity. Sorry, I can't hear you. The, the radio is not really working. Can you hear me now? Nah, I still can't hear you. It's not funny, raise me up. Okay, hold on, let me try something. Bye, have a great time! No, 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 no. I feel kind of bad now. So in my last video, I asked you guys to post every single issue in my game so I can fix them and got tons of comments saying there's lots of bugs, glitches, trash models, models, boring bugs, game design, game just models. straight up sucks, and tons of other issues that make it feel like a total early access game. But not many comments actually said why, and a lot of them just said that I need to straight up remake it all. Now, I can't just delete entire entities or levels or the entire game and just remake it all from scratch just to fix one or two things since that would literally take months and odds are it'll probably be worse than it was before. So please, please, please leave a comment down below saying exactly what I need to fix because I really want this game to be fully polished and optimized for you guys, but as much as I really, really wish I could, unfortunately, I can't read mine. <laughs> So I also wanted to clarify something since everyone thinks that once the full release is out I won't update the game anymore and just let it die out, but I do still plan on adding new content and DLCs even after it releases, but it'll just mean that the main story is done and polished enough to call it a finished product. And I also want to try to keep the game alive by having events on holidays and the first one will be this Halloween. Now I didn't really add much since I've been way too busy working on the full release but I did add a couple decorations around a few levels and some Halloween themed items made by some really talented users in the Discord. But hopefully in the future I can add quests that'll unlock something in game so leave your suggestions in the comments for different events that we can have. So if you want to stay up to date with even more of the new content coming in the next update, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell notification icon so you won't miss my next video where I add them. So with all of that being said, the official release date for the update is...